Fire Emblem Three Houses is a game in the Fire Emblem series famed for its turn-based strategy and its inclusion of permadeath. So, is it fun? Is it worth playing? Here's what you're here to find out, and I'm the 5 minute reviewer. First, let me talk about the story. Now, among the modern Fire Emblem series, Three Houses has spent a lot of effort in the world building and in the story, and it really shows. While in most Fire Emblem games, I tend to forget who the minor characters are, in Three Houses, there is a feeling that all these characters are related, and you start to know their personalities and grievances by heart. Up till today, um, my wife and I can still remember every single character's name, where they came from, and what their interests are, as if they are like our own close friends. Although the story has some unanswered questions like who are those who slither in the dark, and uh, what does Shrang feel like, and who is Hilda's brother, some of these questions are answered in the pseudo sequel, Fire Emblem, Warriors Three Hopes, and overall the world building is quite robust. So I think you'll enjoy the story and this is easily one of the stronger aspects of this game. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of... Now I'll talk about presentation. Now obviously, this game puts a lot of effort in the voice acting and in the graphics. So I don't have really anything to complain about but I must say this is another strong aspect of the game. The game does well to incorporate different art style like narration over medieval light paintings and the characters 3D models that stand out against the droopy background. Uh, if there is one or two complaints I must say that the tend to reuse models especially in the NPCs. I know it's to save space but it can take you out of the experience and furthermore sometimes the background looks very basic like here as compared to the playable characters now i'll focus on gameplay as mentioned earlier fire emblem is a turn-based strategy series where you develop characters and level them up so that you can finally fight harder fights and eventually reach the end of the story just think of it as anime chess and you'll be on the right track what makes Three Houses a bit more unique compared to previous games in the series is that you spend most of your time in a school and you are a professor in a school. So through lessons, you can level up relationships and more importantly, the skills. Another aspect which is quite special to this game is that your characters or your playable characters rather can in principle uh, adopt any class for their specialty as long as they pass the exam and meet the minimum requirement to be that class. So for instance, um, Edelgard here, who is traditionally an armor knight, um, if she level up her magic skills can eventually be a mage. You also find yourself spending a lot of time on the school grounds so that you can improve your characters and buy weapons and gear so that you'll be better prepared for the next battle. Um, you also can make meals for your characters if you want to. If I do have any complaints, um, there will be three. The first one is that the maps, especially in the auxiliary battles, are very limited, meaning that you find yourself appearing on the same map over and over again. The second complaint is the lack of mission variety. Often the mission just requires you to clear all the enemies in the map. Previous games in the series like Fire Emblem Fates have missions where you have to quickly retreat from one end of the map to the other. In Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, there is a defense map where you have to hold a position for a set number of turns. So I would have appreciated a more mission variety. My third complaint is that with the removal of the weapon triangle, uh, it removes a layer of uh, strategy. So often you'll find yourself relying on characters with the best stats rather than trying to strategically thinking who is holding what weapon and therefore who I should deploy. So overall, what do I give the final score for Fire Emblem Three Houses? Well, I think it is a worthy entry into the Fire Emblem genre. I give it a 7 out of 10. It is fun, um, nice to play and I do recommend that you try it out. Right? Especially if you are starting out on Fire Emblem. Take care and have a good day ahead! She's been avoiding me non-stop. Of course I avoid him. 
I avoid everyone! 